Your Royal Highness, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for that warm welcome. I am super excited to be here this evening. I feel very privileged and very honoured to be a part of this incredible show. Now, I need a volunteer, and I'd be very grateful, Your Royal Highness, if you wouldn't mind getting involved. Now, all I'd like you to do, if you'd be so kind, sir, is to think of a two-digit number for me, sir. It's very important that it's not an obvious choice or one that could be easily guessed. And the usher is going to pass you a piece of paper and a pen. What I'd like you to do is nice and clearly on that piece of paper in the square, write a two-digit number for me, sir. And once you've done that, sir, if you could tear that page off and hold it against your chest so I know you're finished. Thank you very much. Uh, now, Your Royal Highness, if you could now screw it up into a ball for us. In just a moment's time, you're going to be throwing that ball of paper into the audience. Ladies and gents in the stalls, if you see the paper coming your way, please try and catch it and hold it in the air so we can see where it has landed. Your Royal Highness, if you wouldn't mind, please throw it anywhere in the auditorium for us. Great throw. Please hold it in the air if you've got it. Thank you very much. Congratulations, you have been personally selected by His Royal Highness himself. Ladies and gents, make her feel welcome as she joins me on stage. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I love your dress. What was your name? Dawn. Dawn, thank you so much for joining me. I'm Richard. Keep that screwed up um, out of sight for now, because we're going to play a mind game in a minute, but I cannot do this illusion alone. So I'm going to uh, get some of my friends involved. So, ladies and gents, will you please welcome the band of the Household Cavalry. <laughs> Today, three March books. These are British Army March books, three volumes, each with a hundred different songs in each one. You're going to choose one, whichever one you choose is the one we use. So just grab one of the March books for us. Good stuff. If you could open it up to the contents page for us, and I'm just going to hold it up so the camera can see. Can you just please confirm for us, Dawn, that every uh, choice is completely different? Yes. Fantastic. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look away for just a second. In a moment, when I look away, you're going to open up the piece of paper. You're going to look at the number that His Royal Highness has written down and remember it. It's very important you've got it the right way around. Obviously, I'm going to turn away now. If you can have a look, once you've got that number securely locked in your mind, if you could screw it back up again. Have you got that? Yeah. Fantastic. I'm going to pass you that. I need you to find that number on the page for us. I'm going to look away. Once you've found that number, if you could circle the number and also the piece of music that it corresponds to. Once you've done that, hold it against your chest so that nobody can see. Have you done that? Yeah. Fantastic. I'll just get rid of the pen. Good stuff. Now you're thinking of a song now, which has been chosen from the number that His Royal Highness wrote just a moment ago. Now it comes to the fun part, because now I'm going to go and try and get inside your mind. What I need you to do is just stare straight into my eyes. Fantastic. Good stuff. Now, what I need you to do, it's very important you don't do anything out loud, but in your mind, keep looping the song. Only in your mind. Nothing out loud. Maybe the chorus, maybe the words, whatever you like. Just keep looping it for me. Are you doing that now? Okay, some sort of... Okay, interesting. Uh, Raph, can you play me a D, please? Uh, upper semitone? Maybe, maybe an E. Back down. Keep looping that for me. Okay, I'm not getting much. Um, let's try it maybe a lower. I think it might be lower. Ed, would you mind taking over for us? Interesting. Maybe Jaws or something. Uh, okay. I don't know. Uh, you know what, Dave? Pass that for a second. I've got an idea. Ed, can you slow it down a little bit for us and a little bit longer as well? I got an idea. Does that sound familiar? Yes. What is the piece you chose? James Bond. James piece. Bond! But 
But wait, there's more. See, what's interesting is that you chose James Bond at a specific number that was chosen by His Royal Highness. If I open this up and we'll look at that number. So you've chosen number 48. What's interesting about that is I predicted this right from the very beginning. Because as some of you are already aware, I have already been on stage this evening. And while I was on stage, I set a prediction. In fact, the very moment you walked in, sir. Because if we show that very moment of the state trumpeters on the screen, you'll notice that I am actually in amongst them. And just in front of me is a prediction that I made earlier. It is, in fact, a number. And it is 48. Thank you so much, Dawn. Thank you, Rich.